Hi everyone, I have not done a life update or tested tunes to tube for a long time. And I think it's time I did both, especially considering when I think about the next kind of series, I guess, that I'm thinking about doing and how I want to do it, as in what method I want to use to record those videos, and I use the term video loosely. Tunes to Tube probably is the best way to do it, so I should probably check and make sure I can still use it, or make sure it's as easy to use as it was last time I tried to use it. I think the last vlog I created was me starting the process of trying to apply for benefits and introducing Read iOS. <laughs> My favorite voice that I never thought would end up on voiceover, but wow, he has. <laughs> so the short version of what happened when I tried to apply for benefits is I, I tried to apply for one kind before I tried to apply for the other kind, and I guess I really need to try to apply for the other kind first because the kind I tried to apply for without a certain thing in a governmental computer, their system won't take all of the factors into consideration, only the ones that it can see. And based solely on the ones that it can see, I don't qualify. If that doesn't make sense, I'm not surprised. I'm not sure how much sense it makes to me either. But I need to try applying for the other thing. And I've been talking about applying for the other thing for months and never have. I need to just stop making excuses. Stop letting time slip through my fingers and do it. But considering that I am two weeks and counting down away from moving, the last thing I'm thinking about is trying to apply for that. As of now, the plan is that I'm moving temporarily. If you call, if you call a year and a half to two years temporary. I mean, I, I think it still is because permanent would be, you know, moving and not planning on moving back. Of course, I might move to the new place, fall so deeply in love with it that I ask if I can just stay there permanently, but right now the plan is that I move to this place and then move back to the place I'm at now. Now why would I do that? Well, because, well, let's back up. I don't know if you remember, but over a year ago, I came onto YouTube and I just said, there's no way in hell I'm living inside construction. My apartment building is undergoing massive construction and they want me to try to live in it and move to different places throughout the building and it just absolutely not. There's no way. I'll move out of here before I let that happen. Well, as it happens, I never did pull it together enough to find a better place to move to, but as the universe would have it, I don't have to live inside the construction after all. What happened was the relocation team, the people tasked with helping people move all over the building for the duration of this project, called me and said, one thing we are offering people is the opportunity to move out of this building for the duration of the project to another building that isn't being remodeled and let them stay there until the remodel here is finished. I ended up saying one of the two places that you're offering to move people to is too far away, but if I can get an apartment at the other place, I'll do that. Well, they were able to get me an apartment at the other place, the place that's close enough for me to even think about living in. And so I'm feeling much better about moving to that location for the duration of this project 
than trying to live inside a constantly changing environment that's constantly being altered as the whole place is being remodeled. So that move is on tap for a couple of weeks from now. I'm not going to promise a moving vlog. I'm not going to promise anything <laughs> as far as vlogging or whatever. I, I have this idea that I want to vlog, but then not always will I create a vlog and actually edit it and post it. I mean, there have been vlogs that I've started to create and then either not followed through on them or created the rough draft and then editing them and posting them ended up never happening. So we'll see what happens in the days to come as far as when do I want to vlog? What do I want to vlog? Do I want to vlog at all or do I want to just do a this kind of video either with a camera or an mp3 player where I just tell you what's going on? Job-wise, what is there to talk about? Well, ever since 2020, well, 2020, I think, ever since August of 2020, part of me has wanted to move forward with, like, a career change. And what I notice is that 2021, 2022, 2023, around this time, between, like, January and, say, May, I have this attitude, this feeling of, I want to be done with this, but I never can get my act together enough to actually make it happen. I don't know how many more years I'm going to keep letting the status quo just go, but I'm back in that frame of mind now, and now I feel maybe a little bit more motivated as far as reasons why I might want to move on. I don't know if or when I'm going to be comfortable talking about it, but just the fact that I've physically got to go into work every work day has always been a point of contention for me. It's always been a reason why I haven't been crazy about it, especially when 2020 hit and everyone that was anyone was told, let's adapt some area of your home to be a work at home office, except me and my team and the people that worked in my line of work. We were told, if the cops pull you over on the way to work, here's a piece of paper to get you out of it. We need you coming in. For me in my situation, I just, I'm like, now, what's wrong with this picture? Why can't I get a piece of the work-from-home pie? Because I'm in the wrong line of work to get a piece of the work-at-home pie. That's why. But it becomes how determined am I to get the work-at-home thing going? What will I do to get it going? And when and how can I learn to actually put my hands where my mouth is in other words, shut up about it and start actually taking action. And I'm being harsh to myself right now. Shut up and start taking action. But then I ask myself, what exactly do I do? What exactly am I supposed to do? The bottom line is, on the job front, not much has changed as far as me moving forward. But I'm back in the frame of mind of thinking I want to move forward, so... <laughs> but I... I just kind of coasted along and told myself one life change at a time. You know, settle into your new apartment that's going to be your new apartment for a year and a half to two years, maybe even longer, however long this uh, remodel takes. Things often take longer than than estimated. And then... Maybe by the time you're settled in, you'll actually think of some, like, action steps that you can and will do to go find a work-from-home job to move on to so you can actually resign. Because I think 
the most foolish thing I could possibly do would be to quit my good job without a job to move on to. Because in spite of the things that I gripe about as far as this job, I've also got a lot to be grateful for. There's benefits here that I've never had. Could I find them elsewhere? I hope so. But are they not things to be grateful for while I have them? Yes, they are. And at the same time, do I want to either find a job that's more conducive to the lifestyle that I actually want or go into business for myself and build that lifestyle for myself? Yeah, I do. So there's a lot of talk and not a lot of action going on with that, but that's where I am in terms of that. Let's see, what else is there to talk about? I should talk about this new series I'm thinking about doing, but I don't know if I'm not ready to talk about that or what I, well, an acquaintance and I talked the other night and she gave me an idea and I may well, I may well go there because I am an up and coming author. I've got a lot of books that, well, I don't know about a lot, but I've got a lot of stories that I've at least drafted. Will it all go to print? Probably not. Will quite a few of them still go to print? Yeah, probably when the time is right and when I am able and ready to make an actual publishing plan. But in the meantime, she was like, you should read excerpts onto YouTube. And I'm like, I could do that. To the point where by the time I finally was ready to publish them, a handful of you YouTube subscribers would have listened to what I've done so far and been like, ooh, huh. Put the link in your bio for how I can buy your book. I am so ready to do it. <laughs> You've got me like, I want to read the whole story. <laughs> um, so it could happen. I won't make any promises about when, but it could happen. I might as well talk about my website while I'm doing a, a life update. I'm in the process of getting it back. Um, I'm kind of working with two different web developers. My old one, I finally heard back from that person and a new one that I talked to uh, yesterday. I think between the two of them, we're going to get, between the two of them and myself, of course, we're going to get my website back up and running. I own the domain, which means if I have to, I have the ability to log into where the domain is and somehow tell them, I don't want it on this hosting platform anymore. I want to move it to somewhere else and we can move it to somewhere else and just completely start over if we need to. I'm going to start by giving my current web developer a chance to like get it back up. She says she's done what she needed to on her end, but I'm waiting for an email from the hosting platform and so far I still haven't gotten it. Let me use my other device that actually hasn't got read on it and see if I have any new emails. 3.24 p.m. Mail. Six unread emails. There were unread messages, but none of them was what I was looking for. Well, I'm going to stick with the mode of communication that finally worked between me and my old web developer. And if I haven't heard from them in like, certainly by Monday, I'm going to say, how long am I supposed to give them? Because I haven't heard back. I haven't heard from them. And I, whatever it takes, I'm going to either get this website back up or start all over again. But there's going to be a website and whether it's on YouTube or on my website, I'm probably going to shift and change and... Yeah, I'm probably going to shift and change um, what I put on my website. I mean, I, I might actually create a, a blog. I might create... 
as of right now, I still have my online store, and I still, for some reason, I just don't have it in me to just give up on that. However, I was telling my acquaintance the other night, yeah, YouTube is just as good a place as any. I mean, when I get my website back up, I mean, pfft, yeah, when I get my website back up, I can put it up there too, but I mean, people weren't going to my website when it was up. And she said, well, that's because you were trying to promote things on your website that wasn't really what you wanted. And she's kind of right. I mean, I'm not saying if anyone wants to buy my stuff, I don't want them to. But a lot of the stuff that we sell, this is not what a good consultant should say, but it's my current perspective. A lot of what we sell is stuff that I personally can't necessarily afford. And some of it I don't necessarily align with, so I'm definitely not going to be promoting that stuff. And even what I do align with, how do I even promote it when I haven't experienced it? And how do I experience it when I don't have the money to buy it? And therefore, I don't really promote it. I just have a website up with a link to the store that you could look at if you wanted to, but looking at it without any idea of what you want would probably be tedious at best. So it's little wonder why it's not doing much for me. <laughs> I think what I need to do when I get my website back up is either find things that I can even say, does that sound delicious to you? If so, here's a link. If you would like to treat yourself to that, here's how you can buy that and share that link. I could do that. I mean, if I'm going to keep that up, I need to do something. And or I could just let it go and focus my content on what I'm creating, which are books, a fictional narrative book series that that is me using my creativity and my my love for writing and these hobbies that I've had my entire life that I've never been encouraged to actually make money with Somewhere along the line, I developed the belief that no one actually makes money doing that in the real world. And therefore, I've been trying to force everything else to make money for me, when really that's not what I love doing. What I love doing is writing and listening to and creating and imagining auditory content. And I don't believe it's that no one wants to hear that audio content. I believe that, first of all, I'm going to the wrong platforms to to produce them. And, again, YouTube is my current platform. Maybe one day I'll find an audio-only platform that's just as popular as YouTube. And if that time comes, then I might just migrate all the way over to the audio-only platform because if you've watched me for any amount of time, you know that I just bitch about people who don't talk in their videos and people who don't do this and people who don't do that to make my ability to watch YouTube pleasant or enjoyable or worth it. And depending on how you look at it, you could sympathize with that or you could say, if you don't like the way YouTube runs, get the fuck off the platform. YouTube is a visual platform, and if you're not a visual person, then what are you doing here? Well, you might not be wrong, but... I haven't found, or maybe I haven't looked for, a better platform for me than YouTube. So for right now, I'm going to use YouTube and my website when I get it back up to create content to put it out there 
hopefully somehow sometime to get some amount of money on it and if nothing else to whet your appetite when it comes to the things that I am creating you know not just selling things that other people create but creating my own stuff namely books audiobooks because I probably will print my books but more than that I will have them in formats that people who cannot read print are able to access because as a person who can't read print myself that really matters to me that's what I'm gonna do with YouTube and with my website when I get it back up of course YouTube like I said in a previous video YouTube is everything from me creating content that I actually want people to watch to me just posting stuff about whatever I mean some people post pictures and videos on Facebook I post videos which is mostly me talking into a camera or a mp3 recorder on YouTube um, I'm not saying I never post to Facebook but a lot of times it's the occasional text-based post if you want to hear my voice come to YouTube <laughs> If you want to read what I have to say, follow me on Facebook. Okay. Moving. Job. Content creation. Website. Is there anything else left to talk about? I think those were the main things. And with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you for listening. Watching. Whatever you want to call what you just did. And I will talk to you in the next video whatever, whenever, wherever it is. <laughs>